When people start trading, one of the first questions they ask is what is the best time frame? We've all heard it many times. This is actually one of the more logical questions we hear and it's often overcomplicated, but there are simple answers to this question. So let's get into it and figure out what the best time frame is for your trading. Firstly, it's important to understand markets can be fractal. What does this mean? In nature, we see fractals everywhere. One of the best examples are in some leaves. The larger leaf pattern is repeated on smaller and smaller scales as you zoom in. So essentially, the big item is made up of lots of smaller copies of that big item. So how does this apply to your charts? Well, it doesn't exactly, but the idea is the larger time frames are similar in nature and experience similar patterns to the lower time frames. Patterns, candlesticks, ranges, and trends all occur across all time frames. I can almost guarantee you I can show you a random chart and you would not be able to tell me which time frame that chart is from. So the price action across time frames tends to be similar in nature. So what are the differences? Well, the main difference is the significance. Candles on the one day chart represent and take into account far more psychology and considerations in general when compared to the one minute chart. It's more mature, it's more reasonable, it serves a higher purpose. But when it comes to trading strictly price action and technicals, this plays a little less of a role. So there are two main differences when trading high versus low timeframes. The first being frictional costs. When you trade, you generally pay a fee. The more trading you do, the more fees you pay. The more fees you pay, the less profit there is. It rubs against your gains. This means lower time frames can have the odds stacked against you at times. The second point is over trading. This is a problem for newer traders and even intermediate traders, where on low time frames, you are easier to chase losses and there is more emotion at play, a trader's worst nightmare. As you can tell, the odds are against you on the lower time frames. However, this doesn't mean we cannot find a balance. Yes, for most people, the one minute chart is too low. And yes, for most people, the one day is too high. So reasonably speaking, a time frame that is more mature, such as a one hour, which takes into account both general maturity, as well as having enough price movements to actually trade, is perfect. This doesn't mean it's perfect for everyone, but if you're looking to start and protect your capital, it can be a great starting point. For most people, going under the five minute chart can introduce some serious risk and in general, touching this should be left to experienced traders. Also, who says you can't combine timeframes in your analysis? We want the best possible entries. Trading using the one hour time frame and then using the five minute time frame to achieve a better entry is a great and valid approach to trading. Sure, we aren't using the five minute for our meaty analysis. However, we are just using it to optimize our main trades. Timeframes don't have to be complex when you know how to use them effectively. So that was your crash course in timeframes. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to join our Discord and subscribe to us right here to get more content like this.